It's the day of the show, y'all. If you know what that's from, we would be friends because it's my favorite movie of all time. Parker Posey is a legend. I am obsessed with her as an actress and a comedian. And she says that line in Waiting for Guffman. And it applies to my life today because it's the day of the show. I hop on the live stream in 45 minutes and this is what I currently look like. Just in case you're wondering what I look like on a show day. I feel like that's a very common question I get asked when I am getting interviewed about tour. It's like, what's your pre-show ritual? How do you prep for performance? You're looking at it! I am a mess on show days. Not in like a, a stress, like anxious, nervous way. Like I don't, I'm not like nervous. I'm just more like, wah! And I just, I care more about like making sure the show's perfect than making sure that I look okay. So I usually look like this until about five minutes before the show. And then I'm like, oh, I should probably like make myself look like a person before I perform for people. That's, this is where I'm at right now. This is how I look and this is truly how I feel. Um, I'm uploading my vlog for the day and I kind of need to poop. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys a little later. So my camera is currently being used for the live stream. I'm in panties. I'm getting ready for like five minutes, 10 minutes? 10 minutes to show, nine minutes to show, Colleen. Oh my goodness. So I'm just tucking in my panties into my Spanx. And now I put on 800 pairs of pants. This is what I look like currently. Isn't that nice? Is this what most people look like when they're getting ready for a show? No? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's time for the show, y'all. Let me go backstage. How crazy that I've set up like a backstage in my own house. I feel like I'm forgetting something very important, yeah. but. Head? Yeah, that's important. And your skirt. Yeah, oh my skirt. Oh gosh, we, okay, I gotta go. I'm incredibly famous and stuff, but please make those cameras stop snapping. Thank you. I know I'm a model, but I've had enough. The magic is starting, my beauty's departing. I feel like I'm farting. Oh, oh, six. Tonight, you guys, oh, six. Right before your eyes, I'm because. We're doing the like meet and greet part after with just a Q&A and everyone's saying hi, hello, look at all these people saying hello that I love so much. Oh my gosh, look at all these beautiful humans. Flynn, are you sweeping? Wow, thanks for sweeping up all that mess, that's so nice. Thank you, baby. Oh, you're such a good boy. Thank you, Flynn. Thank you. What a good boy. Oh, thank you so much. So helpful. Thank you, Flynn. Thank you, Flynn. Good job. The show is done. It's a disaster in here. Corey's frantically cleaning everything up. I'm about to start the Zoom meet and greets. It was a really fun show. Here's the chaos. I love the mouse mask and my ukulele and a random James Charles nail and just stuff everywhere. My lyrics and my set list and everything is a disaster. The pole that all the balls went down on. This is the backstage area. There's my Miranda skirt, all my stuff everywhere. It's chaos in here. So I have a tiny little break to get ready to start doing the meet and greet Zoom calls. So that's what I'm prepping for right now. Four hours later. Oh That's my good. goodness, it is late. And I just finished the final meet and greet and Flynn is still up and he is eating candy cane. Whoa, I'm sure that's not good. <laughs> I don't know that I want to 
choking on that. Okay, um, so basically Flynn, we've had candy canes on the trees in our house and Flynn didn't know what they were. He didn't know that they were candy canes. Eric just showed him, he wanted to show him at the beginning of Christmas time like, hey, this is a candy cane. I was like, don't show him, he'll take all the candy canes off the trees and eat them every day. So he just discovered and he loves them. What's that? What are you eating? Is that good? Is that good? Is it yummy? Mmm. Is it yummy? Mmm. <laughs> he gave it back. <laughs> I miss you today, Flynn. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's, it's so weird. Usually after a show, it's like we can all talk about the show and hang out, but it was like I went immediately into meet and greets, and now my brain feels like because I was looking into a bright light and a computer screen the whole day, and I'm like, feel insane. But it was really fun to get to hang out and talk to everybody. I feel dead. It was really fun zooming with everyone, but I'm like so tired, like staring at a screen all day. I don't know why, like, cause I woke up early and then like did more props, added more things to the show. I got my vlog up, got ready for the show, rehearsed the show, did the show, did a Q and A after the show, then did hours and hours and hours of meet and greets, staring at a screen and a ring light. So like my eyes hurt and I can't, I can't move. I can't move. It's not like a natural human thing. Yeah, I feel like a monster. But it was really fun, the show was super fun. I just, I'm disappointed in myself because there was a lot of mess ups, which I always like mess ups in my shows because it's like, oh, it's live theater. Like, it's fun when things mess up. But the final number, like the final song, I messed up the lyrics at the end. And I was like, dang it, like the biggest moment of the song, like I messed up the lyrics. So I was like, ended the show sad that I like messed up so bad, but. What happened? Sorry, you're vlogging out. No, it's fine, you can say it. What happened? What, what happened? Does the Ratatouille song start playing at the end of the TikTok? That must have been my fault. I must have edited it. It must have been in the I thought end of the I pressed TikTok. something. I was like, oh, no. I think I edited it so fast. Okay. That I think. I thought I messed up. No, I think okay. I messed up. And I think it was probably, I put the ratatouille in the file to edit. I found the part of the song I wanted, then plopped just that part yeah, of the song. Yeah, you do it in Final Cut. Yeah, so I think I didn't notice that there was part of the ratatouille song. And we ran it today, too, and we didn't even know. But notice. I didn't finish it. I was like, oh, I know the rest. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he could have found out if I just was impatient. It wasn't impatient. You but know what? It's okay. You got to call me a rat. It was really fun. The improv today was fun. You did great with improv. Yeah, it was fun. The mining fun girl improv. was That was hilarious. amazing. It was really fun. The she, audience participation was super she, yeah, fun. Yeah, you got some good ones. It was really, really fun. Anyway, I'm tired. Flynn, are you tired? Dinner. Are you tired? What are you doing? Mm. Is it your, you're doing your crane truck? Squirrel. Say happy, oh, a squirrel, Flynn. A Christmas squirrel. You wanna show the squirrel your toe track? When I finally finished the meet and greets for the day, I was like, Wait, there are people wearing New Year's Eve hats and things. It's actually New Year's Eve. For some reason, I, we always planned something for New Year's Eve and this year, obviously we wouldn't have gone anywhere anyway because of the pandemic. I'm like, oh, literally tonight at midnight, we like count down and like it's New Year's Eve. And I didn't even think about that. We have no plans. I don't know if I'll even be able to stay awake that late because I'm that tired. It's New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. The newest part of bedtime routine with Flynn is shadow puppets. He's absolutely obsessed with shadow puppets. There's a bunny that is his best friend that he talks to every night about his day. It's not a good bunny. I'm not good at shadow puppets, but he thinks it's a bunny. So, yeah. You wanna see the bunny? Yep. Okay. Okay, it's time. Are you ready? Yes. Come sit over here. You want the bunny? Yeah. Okay, turn around. Mm -hmm. Hi, Flynn. What'd you do today? Oh, wow, what's that? Is that a crane? Mm -hmm. ah. Did you see any trucks today, Flynn? Uh, you saw what? It's a baby. You saw the, oh, that is a baby. <laughs> Did you see any trucks today? Ear? Yeah, I kissed your ear, huh? Did you see trash trucks? Dump the trash. You dumped the trash? Dump in the trash. You dumped in the trash? Dump in the trash. Bye bye. You want a doggy? Mm -hmm. Okay, bye bye. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Daddy, daddy. Oh, look, it's coming. It's coming. Hi, Flynn. You crane? You have a crane? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. You Say bye bye, shadows. Time for bed.
Ask me if I've moved from the couch in the last few hours. The answer is yes, but only to make a TikTok. Other than that, I haven't left the couch. But turns out 2020 wasn't a bust because right before the clock struck midnight, uh, my husband made 2020 all right. Like I think he saved 2020 uh, because he got me some pants. Let me do some magic and show you the pants that I received. I'm getting up for this. Whoa. You ready? <laughs> yes. Pants with my son's face on them. Please? <laughs> yes, please? I fun? needed these in my life. These are supposed to be a Christmas present, I guess, but they're terrifying, but I love them. They also feel like they were made on tissue paper. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were ironed onto tissue paper and so It really does feel like they're tissue paper. Like it feels like if I breathe too hard on them, they'll shatter. <laughs> or if I get them wet, they'll disintegrate, but they're pretty great. Do you know what picture that's from? This is him smiling. I think it's the one where he's eating the thing. It's when, when you took me to the uh, beach for our birthday. And oh yeah. Oh. Between us living for these. All right, now that I'm up, I'm realizing I have to pee, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay, important conversation to be had. I need your help. So I was on TikTok, <sighs> shocking. I saw someone say like, all right, say you're from California without saying you're from California. And someone responded and said, I call it the snow. Only, and then everyone in the comments like, yes, only people in California call it the snow. So I just made TikTok about this. I haven't posted it yet, but I was just like, I need explanations. But now I'm excited because my husband is from Connecticut. So I can just ask him. So like, what do you call the snow if you're not allowed to call it the snow? Was it like the freeway thing? Cause in, in, I was shocked when I moved to California and they were like, it's the 405, yeah. the 101. So, you just, so you just say 405? So, but on the East Coast, you just say we're taking 95. We're taking yeah, America we're Parkway. No, we're not talking about freeways. The we're snow. past that. So if you're gonna go to the snow, how would you say I'm going to the snow? What, what, what do you mean you're going to the snow? You're like, going to the snow. You're going to the snow. <laughs> like when you drive to the snow. You live well, in the We snow. don't have that because the snow would be outside. You're going so, but then what, you're gonna go play in the snow? You don't say that? Play snow? You go play snow? No, you'd say you're gonna go play in the snow, yeah. You say the snow. The snow. Yeah, I guess, yeah. So how come everyone says you don't call it the snow? I don't understand the context. They like, just said that Californians are the only people who call it the snow, and I was like, like well then what do you call like, it? I'm going on vacation, I'm like, why are you packing a big jacket? You're like, well, because I'm going to the snow. Like, right. Yeah, no, I would never, you would never say that on these coasts, dude. You just be like, I'm going like, to snow? Is there snow there, I guess, or like, yeah, there's snow going somewhere and there's snow. You just avoid the whole conversation of the, the snow. Because it's not like the beach. But like yes, it is. Well, no, it's it is. just it's like the beach. the beach. I meant to say it, it is, but that's like, that's how you guys feel. The, you're going to the beach, I'm going to the, that makes sense in I'm California. I'm going to the desert, yeah. I'm going to well, the Well, everyone desert. was making fun of Californians and I literally had a heart attack and I was like, what are we supposed to call it? What do you call the snow? You just say snow. You just say like, I'm gonna go where snow is. Well, would you say like, I'm gonna go to the sun or the rain? Well, it can't go to the sun, I would die. But I would go but to I'm the just sun. saying like, it exists. I'm gonna go to the rain. It exists, so like, you're not like, you don't, it's not I'm a destination. I'm gonna since, since you live in LA, it's like, uh, or Santa Barbara, whatever, like, going to snow would be like a destination to where it's like, on the East Coast, it just like exists. Going to the rain. Northeast, at least. Going to where it rains. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I'm very confused. Well, I'm gonna go I didn't play know this in the rain. I'm gonna go play in the snow. I'm gonna go play in the sun. Yeah. This all makes sense to me. I'm very confused. So is it just because we say we're gonna go to the snow, is that the only thing people are saying? It's because like, we're not currently in it? I don't get it. But apparently you're not supposed to say the snow. And I Ask didn't. Do they say it too? I don't think this no. is an important conversation. It is an important conversation. It's very important conversation. It's for science. Yeah. You <laughs> missed it. <laughs> you missed it. You missed it. You were working. It's 12.03. It's not 12.03, it's midnight. You missed it. I was alone. <laughs> yes. I was alone. I went to pee so quick, and then as I was peeing, I realized. As you guys like, love it! Because I look up and the ball's dropping. Get off You're of so me. old. How old he goes to go pee, and I hear 10. Now I look up, and the TV, the ball's dropping, and I was like, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm alone. You're a New Year's kiss life. Uh, counts, right? Yeah, it counts. Are we have bad luck now? No, we're fine. You were the first person I saw. There's hair in my Did you have hair in your mouth? Did you transfer hair? It's cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> it's been a very long day. It's okay. Jennifer Lopez is on the screen. She has bangs. 
See, I should get bangs. Jennifer Lopez has bangs. Bang lean. Bang lean. It's coming, 2021. Um, I'm editing a teaser for the podcast. So go check out if you haven't subscribed to the podcast YouTube channel already or to our podcast on like Apple Podcasts and Spotify and all the things. Go do that now. The podcast comes out January 13th and um, I just posted a new teaser, but uh, there are fireworks going on out outside and I'm very tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. But I love you, happy new year, love. The last two years we've kissed like holding Flynn and this year I have cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> 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 Happy New Year, everybody. Bye.